I'm gonna now apply the deep conditioner. So, ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today I'm going to be showing you how to deep condition and moisturize hair for the winter. If you saw from my last video, my curls are looking juicy. They have bounced back and that's because of the protein aphogy treatment that I've done. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna quickly show you the products I'm gonna be using today from the Cream of Nature Argan Oil line, Moisture and Shine Shampoo. Now I'm trying to put as much moisture in my hair as possible. You've seen this in my other videos guys. If you know me, you know how much I love my Cream of Nature Argan Oil line. So I don't think I really need to say too much about this one. Anyway, now I'm going to move on to deep conditioning. And this is the Queen Helene Cholesterol Hair Conditioning Cream. Now they've got a super cholesterol hair conditioning cream, but I chose to get this one. This conditioner, I've heard really good stuff about it. It's quite cheap, I paid £2.49 for it. So that is what I'm gonna be using today for my deep conditioner. After that, I will be sealing it with castor oil. And the reason I actually chose this specific one is because rosemary has so many benefits. So the benefits of rosemary is it slows hair thinning. It also helps to promote circulation of blood to the scalp, therefore promoting growth. Okay, so castor oil I find is very thick and very sticky. For my styler, I'm going to be using this Eco Styler because it's got argan oil in it. And it's just a change from the olive oil one, guys. Okay guys, so now my hair's been shampooed. And these are the curls, they really did bounce back from that Afrogy protein treatment. I don't know if you saw my video, like what I think it was one of these ones, yep. It was one of these ones that were really, really loose curls. If you can see that, they've bounced back nicely okay. guys. So I'm gonna now apply the deep conditioner. So ooh, it smells um almost like a charcoal type of smell. That's what I can liken it to, like a mineral type of smell. Oh, guys, disclaimer, just to be aware, this does contain mineral oil. If you're not a fan of mineral oil, I wouldn't suggest this, guys. I'm just letting you know. Okay, so it's really thick. It's like a it's body lotion. With my spray bottle. So I'm just gonna spritz that, just with water. So now I've added the water, it's got a nice slip to it. So it's almost like the water activates the conditioner. Okay guys, so what I tend to do, when I can't find my shower caps or I've run out of shower caps, I usually go ahead and use the little carrier bag that I bought my products in. <laughs> Pretty much same effect. So it does the same thing as a shower cap. It traps in the heat from your head and heats up the conditioner. Then I'm gonna leave that to sit for 30 minutes and I'll come back to you once it's rinsed out and I'm ready to put in my leave-in conditioner and my styler. So guys, this is my hair after using the Queen Helene Cholesterol Deep Conditioner. As you can see, my curls are juicy, they're shiny. I know my hair's still wet, but it's shiny. They are defined and this is one reason guys why I mentioned in my last video why I still use mineral oil. Mineral oil is really good for clumping the hair but as you can see the definition and this is literally naked hair without any products. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead to the next bit and I'm gonna go and use, if you saw in my last video, the Effigy Pro Vitamin Leave-In Conditioner. Now this is a spray leave-in conditioner and I also want something that's very creamy. So I'm gonna be using a product also that I used in my last video. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead with my curl smoothie. So this is actually a styler. But I'm gonna be using this today as a butter, a thick cream leave-in, looks like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Sunny Isle Rosemary Jamaican Black Castor Oil.
Hey guys, so this is the end result. Juicy, defined, super moisturized curls. It's not fully dry. Let me just quickly show you the back, guys. Okay, so I will come back tomorrow once my hair is completely fully dry and I'll show you the end results, guys. Hey guys, it's the next morning, as you can tell. So these are the end results. guys so this is my hair fully separated it's not super big it's not got amazing volume yet but as you know as the day goes on my hair is actually still a bit damp at the roots so as the days go on and your washing goes guys your hair does get bigger and bigger so I'm fine with this for now very loosely I'm gonna put it in one time and that is it because I don't want no dense indentations in my hair I don't want my hair to be stretched excessively yeah, but that is it guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload. And I will see you on Monday.